This is a story more of my mom and my dad, and this story goes back when I was about three to four years old. I can vaguely recall most of the memories that I've, I've from this very earliest memory, but my mom tried to run over my dad. Keep in mind, this is this is very long ago, and this uh, they're they're good now. So I still love my mom, and even though she has done some stupid things in the past, and my dad has done stupid things in the past, they're still my loving parents and I still love them. So keep that in mind, that's my disclaimer. I still love them, they're still my, my father and mother. Okay, so my mom and my dad were in an argument and I was about three to four years old at the time and we were in the back seat and my mom was in the passenger and my dad was uh, driving the car. My dad and my mom get into a very huge argument and I just, uh, start crying. My brother was crying right next to me. Next thing you know, my dad had enough. He was like, all right, I, I had enough. I'm done yelling. I'm done dealing with this. So he gets out of the car and he's like, you can drive yourself back home. He got out of the car and just started walking. You know, he was frustrated. He was just wanted to release some of the anger and release any of that tension that she had. he had with my mom. My mom, still furious at my dad, she jumps into the driver's side and tries to tries to get the car and tries to run over my dad with that car and my dad starts to panic and starts to run for his life because my mom is trying to run him over this is where it gets a little bit vague for me because this is i don't really remember as much but there was a cross section and this cross section had a four-way stop sign a four-way intersection always stop and there was a red car and the red car was you know waiting to turn um uh, doing a left turn, the car was was on this side over here. Well, the camera is kind of reflecting it, but it, you get the point. Is at least, the car? Yeah, car is over here. My mom's coming this way. Car starts to pull out to make a left, and my mom rams into the car while the car was making a left. The red car didn't even see my mom because my mom was speeding at the time, and my mom just rammed basically head-on collision, jackknifed the, the red car. And keep in mind, we're still crying. We're still bawling our, our, our eyes out and we're freaking out because we're very young and, and probably I have PTSD from car accidents because I've been in so many. Uh, there was a black truck and this black truck car pulling up. What my dad told me it was that it was an undercover police officer at the time. And the police officer came out and uh, he was undercover and then he called the you know called back up of course to make sure the the scene was all you know cleaned up and making sure that like getting the uh, evidence on both sides and and my dad was talking to police he also rushed over to see if we were okay seeing my mom was okay because my dad still cares about my mom and the police officer goes over and arrests my mom handcuffs handcuffs her my dad uh, sees my mom getting arrested and she gets she goes to jail for about three days and, that, and it's because my, my mom tried to run over my dad at that point. So my uh, dad takes us back. He takes the brown car back, and, you know, all beat up and destroyed at this point. And it's just completely demolished in the front. The car's, car barely is holding on. Uh, the radiator's all beat up. He takes it back. He put he parks it in the, the apartment of the garage. And my dad sits us down on the couch and sits my brother. And he's and we I think we asked my dad at this point, how, where's mom or where's mommy and my dad said mommy's gonna go away for a while <laughs> and and uh yeah and that's the when my mom came back after her after jail time for three days and and she she wasn't happy with my dad at that point my my mom and my dad weren't very on good terms and they got into more arguments and this is still related when i was four so they got into another argument after this and this is like later down maybe like a few few months later they got into another fight and i remember a door a dish was thrown someone threw a dish across the room i picked up one of the pieces on the uh from the broken dish i picked it up and i was playing with it i don't know why i was playing with the ceramic dish at this point i ended up cutting myself on that dish and i started bleeding <laughs> and then i started crying because i cut myself from this broken dish and my dad and my mom like stop their arguments and they start rushing over to me because i cut myself on my my hand so yeah those are my earliest memories and that's the memories of i've hold uh till this day and i still I, I won't forget them i still love my mom and my dad my mom is a she's 
she's good. Uh, she's doing fine. And my, and I still love her. I still love my dad. It's just some crazy stuff that I remember when I was much younger. So yeah, that's my earliest memories and I hope you enjoyed the story. So yeah, peace out.